Okay, everyone, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Market Wrap-Up with myself, Michael Noss, from StatsAtTrading.com. As always, we go through every day my thoughts on the equity, crypto, and FX markets, and then I give you guys access to my watch list. If you want to make sure that you're getting this every single day, go to StatsAtTrading.com, sign up for the email list, it just email it directly to you via Substack. I don't sell the email list or anything like that, so it's the best way to make sure that you're getting access if you are interested in this work that I do every night completely for free. Start off with Bitcoin stuck in a range. Hasn't moved until we break these lows. I'm going to hold my short. I'm not going to add to it. If we break these lows, I'm going to add to it. If we get back to these highs, that's where I've got to move out. I'm looking for a pretty substantial move if we break this. Can we kind of push down to 20? Could we push lower? This fake out right here is what I'm looking at. This massive push up and then massive reversal. If this goes, then everybody who bought into that pop right there, they're sad. Right? So they have to cover if they're sad. Still bullish Aussie yen as long as it holds this upper trend line. If we can start to push on Aussie yen, I own a little bit right now. I'm looking to add more on a breakout here. Targeting this high right here, targeting through that high. If we can have that, if we can be lucky enough to get in on that. Into the markets here, I'm just going to look at the SPY because everything kind of followed the SPY today. There wasn't really anything that interesting that stood out when I went through my watch list. Everything's looking like the SPY is here. And we're just stuck in a range. So as much as you hear people on Twitter saying this is just a pullback, we're going to rocket to no highs or... This is the end of the world. I told you guys this was still a bear market. We're going to shoot to new lows. I just, I strictly follow price. And as long as we are in this range, not only am I not worried, I consider it constructive. You expect in bull markets, up moves, and then sideways consolidations, and then up moves, and then either pullbacks or sideways consolidation. So until I'm proven wrong, which would be a violation of this low right here, I just see that we had an up move. And now we're just working through some sideways consolidation. You know, if we break back below 420 or something like that, then I say, okay, maybe it's time to really look. If we break back through this low, I start to get a little bit more worried. But as long as we're in this range, we're just in a sideways consolidation. Now, because I am long-term bullish, but I liked these pullbacks that occurred, what I'm doing a lot of is when the market's pulling back, anything that I own that's pulling back with the market, I sell. Anything that's not pulling back with the market, those are the things I want to buy. So for example, today, two of the trades, one was uh, Weight Watchers. You remember we took Weight Watchers right here off of this Anchored View app. I think it was from this low right here, this very significant low in price where we sold off. Yeah, we came right back to this anchored view app and we bounced off it took some of that got out before earnings so i didn't get the gap but that's just my risk tolerance came back down started to put in this range put this on the list a few days ago you can see still bouncing off that same anchored view app from right here broke out today bought a little bit rallied all day long and then sold more a little more than half into the close that and new york times just wanted to show that we bought it in through here pulled back, gave us another chance, and now it's going. If we break this area tomorrow, I may add to my position because I have a new place for my stop loss, and that's right below this, this hammer candles low right here. Now, what I added to the list was only one stock, right? And that's CBOE, and the simple idea here is a bull flag at highs, and then the relative strength. Right? Well, we had a sell-off in the market, which I just showed you. CBOE didn't sell off. You know, that's relative strength. In a nutshell, it's kind of all you need to know about it. Above this anchored VWAP, this is probably a logical place for a stop, a close below this, time to go. If we can break on CBOE and push higher, you can see on the weekly chart we are at new highs. So CBOE is doing just fine. All of the degenerates doing their zero-day expiration is probably helping out their bottom line greatly. So that is it for me today. Just one added to the list, a couple trades taken, that's what I do when the market's pulling back. I've talked about this many times before, and for my new followers, I'll continue to talk about it. When the market's pulling back, I'm selling things that are weak, I'm holding on to things that are strong, and I'm building a list of things that are strong. 
when those things kind of disappear because they're no longer strong, they break down or something like that, I remove them from the list, rinse and repeat. I just want a list of strong names. When the market starts rallying, that's when I get involved in them. So that is my thoughts on the overall market. Thank you for the support, the comments, the likes, the thumbs ups, the shares, all that kind of stuff. And go to statsedtraining.com, sign up for the email list so you don't miss a version. Talk to you guys tomorrow.